Hello friends. Now today we will be discussing about an important concept of MIC, MBC and susceptible, susceptibility breakpoint. Okay. If we are talking about MIC, that it is a MIC is minimum inhibitory concentration, MBC is minimum bactericidal concentration and susceptibility breakpoint is at, at a value at a point from which it determines beyond above that is resistant, below that is sensitive, that is susceptible breakpoint. Okay. Now when we come to about MIC, MIC is minimum inhibitory concentration. Minimum inhibitory concentration means that when it took a, a few isolates, make into the vector water or normal saline, make our aliquots, and if we check the drug, we keep 10, 14, many of the uh, aliquots we have prepared and we give drug in each of the aliquots. We incubate at the minimum concentration at which all the bacteria are killed, are inhibited. When we see with through eyes, it seems that all the bacteria has been cleared, then that is called the minimum inhibitory concentration. Okay? The same way we keep all, we take the aliquots of the organism, it is usually considered as 10 to the power 5 macfarlane or something, it's a microbiological point of view. You don't need to understand physically. You just need to understand that minimum inhibitory concentration is the minimum concentration of the drug that requires to kill off that inhibit the all the organisms present in that drug and it is defined as MIC. When you compare with the MB, when you say about MBC, MBC is minimum bactericidal concentration, which means that when you prepare the microorganism into the aliquot, maintain the standard McFarlane concentration and use the serial dilution of the drug and the minimum concentration of the drug that kills all the bacteria is known as the minimum bactericidal concentration. Cidal means killing. Now, what is the difference between MIC and MBC? MIC is only inhibitory concentration. So you have checked all those, uh, all the rack when you reach the lowest concentration of the antibiotic has inhibited the growth. You see the visually there is no growth. But when you subculture it, there might be a growth of organism. So in, in MIC, there is only just inhibition of the growth. Whereas when MBC is, when you do the same procedure, and when that at the lowest concentration of antibiotic, the all bacteria has been killed from that growth. If you are culturing, subculturing the organism, then there is no growth. All bacteria has been killed. It has not been inhibited, it has been actually killed. So it is known as the minimum bacteria of concentration. What is susceptibility breakpoint SPP? Susceptibility breakpoint is a point at a, a target or a value. After that, Beyond that, if an organism is showing the MIC, then it is resistant. You cannot use that drug. And if the susceptibility breakpoint, your MIC is less than that, then it is a sensitive drug and you can use that drug. This is so simple. You can get the MIC value through your lab, a lab can provide you the MIC value, but they will usually doesn't mention the, about the susceptibility breakpoint. They usually mention you as sensitive or resistant. That only they do. This susceptibility breakpoint value you can obtain from the CLSI Clinical Laboratory Standards Institute guideline. You have to, this is the standard uh, document you can found anywhere or you can um, buy it from online shopping or you can get this book available. Okay. So, susceptibility breakpoint you can find it. this is a standard, this is fixed. It is a, has been already used. Every ICU actually have to keep this associated breakpoint into their ICU as a chart and keep in the wall, just hang on the wall. That it will be very useful document to do as well. Okay. Now, understanding this associated breakpoint, you can say that it is a resistant or sensitive. That is sure. But when it comes to the point of sensitive one, suppose you have given, uh, you have grown blood culture or some. Okay, you have been in the blood culture or the sputum culture, you have seen that, okay, uh, you found that pseudomonas has been grown. Okay, you perform the susceptibility testing. Okay, so in susceptibility testing, this all antibiotic, meropenem, impenem, amicacin, all were sensitive. 
And they are MIC, although in Nepal we can find and we are preparing some, we are planning for a sense of lab that can be an authentic and international standard and hope so we will be opening soon about that also. But related to this MIC, minimum inhibitory concentration, okay, if meropenem, mimipenem and imipicin, three all of are sensitive, one, now what you do? Now which of the antibiotic you will choose? It is, it is a, what, it is very easy to choose between the resistant and sensitive one. You see that the sensitive antibiotic and you choose it. There is no point of using the resistant one. But when you have a, to choose between all sensitive one, what will be the preferred choice? There are, there are a lot of the factors, okay? If all factors matches, we could, there are a lot of factors like there is the PKP, PD parameter, there is the anatomical side, there is the severity of the disease. These all things matters. That are, they, sub, they keep that all those variable in one side and you comparison that if all variables are okay, then what will be the drug of choice between suppose imipenem and meropenem, all variables will be okay. okay? But it may be different in case of amicacia. Okay? But suppose if the you are using for sputum and every you have you have got a pseudomonas and you are saying saying that this all three are sensitive one, a patient is not in the ICU or whatever it is in the ward it is, then what will be your choice of drug on the basis of MICM? Let's forget about the anatomical side, the PJP parameter, the side effect of the drugs or the cost. Let's remove it from that. Make everything equal. You have now to choose between meropenem, imipenem, and amikacin. These all are sensitive to pseudomonas. Now, what will be your choice? Suppose C, MIC, and SBP. So, severe breakpoint and MIC. Meropenem is 1. Imipenem is 0 0.5. And amikacin is 1. This is the MIC that has been provided to you from a lab report. After from a lab report. If you are not getting now, we will provide you in future. Okay? And when I go through the CLSI guidelines, then I have found, this is just arbitrary number, it is not the actual value, but just to make you understand which will be the preferred drug and what will be the concept, because a lot of people have wrong concept about it, okay? So, SPP, so associated so breakpoint is meropenem 2, imipenem 2, amikacin is 5. Now, seeing this, the most MIC lowest value is imipenem 0.5. And every doctor, a lot of doctors, what I have encountered, my colleagues and individually, they have the concept that okay, if MIC is 0.5, not the ID, ID people, but other colleagues, then they are they, are, they say that okay, comparison this one 0.5 one, this imipenem has lowest MIC, so I'll go for this one. And actually, this is the concept of lot of doctors, which is wrong. It is not actually the comparison between you, MIC of your, your drug. You, not, you will not compare MIC of meropenem with imipenem or amikacin. If you compare with meropenem or imipenem, then obviously 0.5 seems to be useful. If you compare with amikacin, then 0.5 seems to be less. And you will say, okay, I'll go with the imipenem. But it is not the real scenario. It is not what it is, okay? You have to compare the MIC with the susceptibility breakpoint. That is what is important. You compare meropenem, it has MIC 1, susceptibility breakpoint is 2, so it is 2 times. Okay? Imipenem, MIC 0 0.5, its susceptibility breakpoint is 2, so it is 4 times. Amikacin, MIC is 1, its susceptibility breakpoint is 5, it is 5 times. Which means that your susceptibility breakpoint is this. In comparison to this, meropenem, Half, two times means half of the drug concentration in that particular site will be enough to kill your bacteria. In, in amikacin case, what will be? One fourth of the drug concentration will be enough to kill that bacteria in that, that particular site. If amikacin it is, it is one fifth of the drug will be enough, concentration drug will be enough to kill that bacteria. So my point is that you are not going to compare the MIC between your drugs, rather you will compare the MIC with the susceptibility breakpoint and which is the have less less means which we have the more times suppose this is five times so one fifth will be enough the concentration of drug will be enough if it one fifth of the drug concentration is in that particular site so 
In comparison to this, this is only two times, this is four times, this is five times. So you will use amikasin. Amikasin will be preferred among the sensitive one. Do you understand that? If you remove the amikasin, if you, you are comparing only merovenum and imipenum, then merovenum is one, imipenum is 0 0.5, then you say that imipenum you prefer. Although we are going to prefer this imipenum because not because it has in comparison, this is half comparison of the myopenum, but if we are comparing this with the susceptibility breakpoint. The susceptibility breakpoint it is two, so four times less concentration of drug will be enough. So we'll choose the panel, but the comparison will be this one, not between this. Okay, I hope you have understood this concept because it is a very, very good concept, and it, in all the international uh, hospitals. The high class hospital, you will have the MRC report. You may not get the susceptibility breakpoint report. You will fail on that in the standard uh, CLSI guideline and then you compare it and choose antibiotic wisely. That's all. Thank you.